Okay, number four, what is the goal of the CIE lab color space? Uh, so this is a color space that was invented to give more perceptual uniformity. So if we look back at this chromaticity diagram, um, there's a lot of areas in here that, at least to me, look like they're the same color, especially right around here. So as we move from the edge towards the center, um, this doesn't look like a uniform movement. Um, it doesn't look like we're uniformly changing colors in any direction I travel. Um, and that can kind of be difficult to use for certain applications. So say maybe you're designing something in Illustrator. Uh, ideally, you would want to be able to kind of like select your colors on some uniform grid of colors instead of have to like, you know, move your eyedropper around here and get the same color um, and then like have very little space for finding yellow or something like that. Um, anyway, so we have this perceptual uniformity with this other color space and how it's set up is they have some lightness axis um, and then two other axes, the A and the B axes, and they're split up into color opponent pairs, so it would be green and red are on the same axis and blue and yellow. And then actually to achieve this uniformity, uh, there's this gamma transform that kind of warps other color spaces into a more uniform looking space uh, and this is kind of heuristic since uh, this is all done with the human eyes.